financial reports are worth looking at and which ones are worth looking at monthly and which ones are worth looking at quarterly. And um, here's my take. Let's start with the let's start with the highest highest level. If you have a dashboard that's custom built for your organization, for your mission, for your industry, for your life cycle stage, for your goals, that's the top level. That's the top of the top. You get some numbers in there. You get some pictures in there. You get some trends in there. And I have three letters for you, my friends. K P I. Right? Key performance indicators. Get a custom dashboard and look at some things that matter most that give you the answers to the questions that you already have. Don't look at the numbers and say, hey, what can you tell me? At, at the top level, you get clear on what your critical questions are every month and what your critical questions are every quarter and have a dashboard created for you that can give you the answers to those questions. If you have a, a bank loan that has covenants, then monitor your ratios and do that on an ongoing basis on your, on your dashboard and have a little line graph that shows trends in a particular ratio. So you can see, yes, we're in compliance and yes, we're not moving in a direction that's going to have us out of compliance because then, you know, the bank's going to come calling, right? If you are looking to establish um, greater profitability, or make sure grants don't get um, overspent or underspent. You can have that on a KPI dashboard to look at the top level of the top level. And I don't mean a detail report like, hey, let's look at every single grant to see if it's underspent or overspent or perfectly stewarded. I mean top level. What percent of grants are stewarded just so versus overspent versus underspent? Like a top level, like one of those donut graphs or ring graph, for example, top level of the top level. So those are a couple of quick examples. Um, if you have a question like, when are we going to be able to hire a fill in the blank position here? Have some data on your, your KPI um, dashboard that's gonna give you the answer to that question. It might be forecasted cash, future cash flow balances for the next six months. Boom, when we hit X, of having a of cash in our savings account, then we know that we have we have enough of a pillow that we're gonna have enough money to hire a fill in the blank. So boom, have that on the dashboard. Not all the geeky nitty gritty calculations that got you there, right? But the top level, the top level. Next level down is your financial statements. I strongly suggest maintaining accrual basis financial statements. That means you're showing receivables and payables. And that means you're recognizing income when you've delivered the products or delivered the services, regardless of whether or not your organization has been paid for them, and you're showing the expenses that you know have been incurred, they feel like they've been incurred, but you're showing the expenses regardless of whether or not you've paid a supplier or a, um, a service provider for those. That's all inclusive. And um, yeah, those are worth looking at. Additionally, there's one more report I'm gonna tell you about which is a must have. And more, um, more nonprofit leaders and business owners um, go without this report because they don't know about it more than you would realize. So if you are running an organization and you don't know about this report, it's okay, you're not alone, but this is freaking awesome. And that is if you run a profit and loss or an income statement and you don't just see the dollar, you have a second column showing you every dollar as a percent of gross revenue. And when you have your chart of accounts structured in such a way that they're in, they're grouped into large big picture categories, it makes a profound difference in your aha moments. When you have what's called, a, that gives you what's called a common size income statement or a common size profit and loss. Now you're in a position to compare with other organizations in your sector or other organizations in your industry or similar organizations Hey, we put 20% to this. What do you do in your organization? Hey, our profitability is 10%, 50%, 75%. How are, how are you doing? People are much more, um, people much more readily share their percents than their dollar amounts. And why that is, is a topic for an entirely separate discussion. But while that is the case, 
Give yourself a common size income statement or common size profit and loss is gateway to power. Because if your margins are 5%, you find out that somebody in a similar industry has margins of 9%, don't you want to know how they did it? And especially if you're uh, non-competing, maybe they're in a different part of the country and you start, your industry is very geographically based, maybe they'll give you that information. Or how they ran their company, um, putting all the overhead dollars that they need to sustain their nonprofit organization, but the percent is so much lower than yours. And they were able to put so much into programming. Let's say, well, how did you do it? It starts with that financial statement, with their common size income statement. Thank you.